everybody in this class has had a long time yoga practice, but some of them, it, it, it's only been maybe two to five years, it's, but they're very dedicated. They go to yoga class often and they've worked hard and they're, they're already in really good physical shape. And if you're watching them, you're thinking, oh, I don't know if even I could do that. I want you to know that they have spent a lot of time and with time and dedication, you can too. So as you press your hands and fingers down and you press your knuckles and palms down, you squeeze your arms toward the midline. See, arms want to bend when shoulders are tight. So if you press your knuckles fully into the floor, press your knuckles down, Bob, yeah, and you move your arm bones forward a little bit more, like you're going to plank, you can probably get the knuckles down even stronger and squeeze your hands and arms toward center. Even lift your head up and look at your hands. Now this is gonna help save your wrists and arm balances. That's why I'm taking some time with it to see that you've got to make your arm bones lift up instead of go down and squeeze your hands to make your hands strong. Now step or jump forward to Uttanasana. Whenever we find a body part that's a little bit weak, we say, what can I do to strengthen it? That's what I mean by a positive outlook. So with your legs and your feet now, squeeze them toward the center. Lift the arches of your feet and squeeze in and pull your muscle energy right up into your belly, into your rib cage, and then push it down through your tailbone from your solar plexus. And at the bottom, squeeze your heels toward each other and you will feel the completion of the circuit of energy and breathe. Great, now place your hands on the back of your calves, just full on, right on the back of the big part, the gastrocnemius, the big part of your calf muscle, right back here. And bend your knees slightly, yeah, and push your shins forward as you take your thigh bones back. So this activates the calf muscle and the thigh muscle, the quadricep muscle, pushes the femur bone into the hamstrings, opens up your hamstrings. See if you can straighten your legs while you're doing this. Good, keep lifting your belly up. Mm -hmm. So you have abdominal strength, leg strength, Bones being moved, and deep, deep hamstring stretch right at the belly of the hamstring. You, get, you become open. Good. Now, wrap your arms around your lower legs right at the middle of your calf and squeeze four fingers, not your wrist, not your elbow, but four fingers. Hold your four fingers, yeah. And squeeze in. Squeeze in hard, like you're trying to actually touch your legs together. Now, at, with the same kind of power, push your thigh bones apart. Right, so you have strength from the outside, strength from the inside. There's no way around it. Pull your ribs and your belly in and push your tailbone down and keep breathing. Now you, you're folding in half in a much lighter way. It's not heavy. It's not harmful. You're seeing that the hamstrings are starting to open up. Stretch your legs even more. See if you can. Yeah, awesome. That's really, really good. I've seen you come a long way in a short time. And now come down to the floor in a squat. Now, when you squat, some people's feet will turn out. We're working on trying to keep our feet straight forward, so we might have to go wider, putting our arms and our shoulders in between our legs. Yeah, this is called malasana, and for some people, they have to modify it. Like, Deborah has a bone on bone. She has no cartilage in her knee, so she's not going to go any farther than this, and she can still strengthen her legs this way. Good. Very wonderful. And now come back to Uttanasana, and you'll see that even just that little time squatting has changed your standing forward bend. This is the same standing forward bend that we were practicing with the legs. You know, we were using our arms. You can just do that work with your leg muscles. You can squeeze your feet and shins in, strengthen all your leg muscles, and push your thigh bones apart, lift your belly, push your power from your solar plexus down, and then breathe. And you will feel light and strong from doing that. It's simple. Now lift your feet one at a time and insert your right hand under your right foot and your left hand under your left foot, palms facing up. This is so great, all the way up into your wrists. It's a great wrist stretch. Push down with your toes into your hands and stretch your arms. Let's bend the arms now. So we're going into a deeper stretch and letting the head hang down. And now straighten your arms completely straight and pull your ribs up, pull your belly up, lengthen your tailbone down and then breathe. Look, you can look up a little bit, you can lift your head, yeah. So you're deliberately straightening your arms. Move your triceps, move your arm bones forward, more toward the edges of your mat, the front edge of your mat, good. And then exhale, soften your heart, bow again, bend your elbows, great stretch. And now come up to standing. We're going to take the right leg and we're going to put it over the left leg so it'll look like the number four and we're going to keep all of our toes spread. All of the toes on the right foot are going to be really spread, the arches lift on the left foot 
And then we're going to come down, bending the left leg to touch the floor. This is just a stretch, just a stretch for your outer right hip. If you're um, needing a little assistance, you can go to the wall or get blocks. Go to the show, show going to the wall, yeah. This is where Deborah wants to be careful with her knee. So you just put your hands on the wall, and then you can take yourself lower. Uh-huh. Yeah. Good. Now, hold on to your right foot with your right hand and see if you can stand down. You know, I'm not saying stand up, but you're, you're pushing your power down into your standing leg, and you're coming up into Uttitahasta Padangashtasana. Your right leg is going to come up a little bit. You're going to see if you can get your abdominal power to flow down through your standing leg and to go out into your hand, and maybe you can straighten the leg, maybe not. Yeah, but this is great balance exercise. Mm -hmm. If you wiggle, that's okay. Just try to regrain your strength, and we can keep trying as many times as we need to. Good. Now, you know you've got something in or inside yourself. Well, you can lift your gaze off the floor. I challenge you to lift your gaze off the floor if you can. Fabulous. Release your leg gracefully. Put it down. Nice work. <laughs> 